Welcome back to Nineteen Let's Picture. I can't kick a ball more than five yards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's 45 yeah. and has had a child. Yeah. yeah. No dinner tonight! Oh, hey, I hear there's bed in you and I just want to be with you in bed. <laughs> when I was 16, I had a PE teacher tell me that football wasn't going to happen for me. All I'd do was win, win, win. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Life's a Pitch with me, Lucy Quinn, and the weird and wonderful Rusha Littlejohn. We're back. We're back. We are back. <laughs> Straight into it. You're being a knob already. <laughs> I've missed you. I've not. Well. I have. It's only been a few days. Yeah, true. Been. True. I have missed you though. Um, how has your how's your week been? Do you have a red card of the week? I do have a red card of the week. I feel like you're gonna know what it is. Should I know? Yes. Your teammate leaving your team oh. and coming into my team to be my manager <laughs> as banger order. Why is that a red card? I thought you guys would be Cause, happy. Because she'll be telling me what to do. She'll oh. be giving me orders. The only orders I take is at the bar normally and she'll be like, I can't even have a pint with Remy now. No. It's like nothing. It's going to be like... You can't You can't talk She's going to just disown me. Yeah. I'll probably not be allowed to go to the wedding. All this <laughs> off... Do you know what I mean? Off the table. Do you know what? If we had a green card, yeah. the fact that Remy's left yeah. and gone to you guys would be my green card because she won't be shouting at me anymore. Uh -huh. She won't be ripping me off uh -huh. at half time. I'm it's getting it now. Here. She already started today. I could hear her in a meeting. She's going, you need to get up a picture. Rusha, squeeze, get up. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. I'm 33. My Achilles are in bits. Like, so I'm going about the team probably. But that's it. What can you do? No, I think she'll, she'll like you because you throw yourself around. I mean, and on a serious note, she, I feel like she's ready for it. And yeah, already she is. Her coming she's been in, ready for a long time. Just her detail or... Yeah, she's she's made for this. She's yeah. made for this shit, so I think it's going to be very good. Good for London City, yeah. good for Remy. Yeah, on a serious note, yeah. which we don't do often. We don't, yeah. Um, obviously, it's a big loss at Blues. Yep. Um, she was obviously playing for us, yep. been ill for a while, really struggled with that. Really bad illness yeah. that she's had for a while. Um, but you can tell she's obviously been working with England, yep. um, coaching, and she's got that kind of brain, and like her detail and everything is really good. And probably someone that you guys could really take advantage of back into the season. Yeah. I think it'll be good for you. I think already just even just, it's like simple reminders. Yeah. But it's like, we need it. Yeah. We actually, that just small details will make a big difference. And yeah, yeah and she'll not be like no. slow on telling us. So it's good. Yeah. Okay. So, Remy Allen, red card. Ruin the French. What about yours? My red card goes to the fact that we had an overnight stay. <laughs> Got on the bus, drove down, did all the training, had our food, slept in the hotel. You never sleep very well in the hotel. Get to the stadium on Sunday, game's off. Yep. Pitch is unplayable. Mm -hmm. Literally, we stayed in a hotel in Croydon. Yeah. And now I'm back here in Croydon. Are we in Croydon? Well, I don't know. No, right. Yeah. I can't disclose the location. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go on. Um... I'm sure other people are wanting to know this and I, I want to know it too. Like when you're on away trips, do you share with Bex? Okay, sure. first of all, that is completely inappropriate. <laughs> no, we do not. No, everyone has their own room. Mm. It's a high performance environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't. No, I, I love some time away from her, to be do honest. Do you? No, no. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm like, shall we watch much yeah. of the day together? That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, thank uh -huh. you for that. Um, so yeah, we get to the pitch and obviously there's been a lot of rain. There has been a lot of the rain. Um, due to play Crystal Palace, big game in the title, um, big Irish derby as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, loads. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the pitch is unplayable. The refs are in the middle of the pitch. There's going to be a pitch in inspection at half 12. So both teams get there. We're in the changing room. And Cho, you know Cho, yeah. she comes in. She's so cute. And all she does is smile. She's like this. The game's off. And we're like... <laughs> <laughs> what? So you're smiling like yeah. she doesn't know how yeah. to not smile. She's just the best person ever. Yeah, yeah. game's Game up. We're going home. Yeah. We're like, great, thanks, Cho. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. Um, and then there's no games this weekend now. That's right. This weekend come in, so needed that. Had to get back to Birmingham, go to the gym at six o'clock at night to get my running session in. You done that? Yeah, that's what I did. That's hardcore dedication no, from you. Well done. I know. Yeah. Um, you'd think my career would be going places with the yep. work that I put in but it's mm -hmm. not we do it for the love of the game mm -hmm. um no yeah I went to the gym I had to because I wanted my day off today good I like that from yeah. you well done um I can't walk because absolutely hammered myself on the treadmill okay yeah like, like running on concrete yeah do you get that I don't run oh. <laughs> so I don't. Uh -huh. um yeah treadmill used to go on the treadmill yeah 
don't really know because my keel is yeah, I can imagine um, that's can't really road run my keel is, it, was, it was COVID that absolutely effed me up you've said this from before. that yeah the 5k's and before. stuff nonsense I was talking about this today with Mitchie actually mm. anyway um, but I'm happy that you've done that do you think at all you like say your game's cancelled or you've not a training do you feel like you have to exercise because you have to do it or do you also think you want to do it like mentally yeah it's a bit of both I'd say yeah I do have like it was actually weird I was having this conversation with Remy the other day so um my manager yeah Remy your new manager I just wanted to fit that um I'm one of those people that if I do nothing on a day off I feel worse for it like not just like feeling lazy like my legs are like stiffen up so even if I go for like a really light run or light jog and mm-hmm. a small gym session on, say, for example, the Monday that we have off after game, I feel better for it on the Tuesday. Otherwise, I feel like I'm doing that on the Tuesday in the training session, yeah. getting all the concrete out okay. of the legs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but also, I like to eat a lot of rubbish on the days off. You do. And you can justify that a little bit if you walk on the treadmill for a couple of minutes. Mm-hmm. So I do that. Mm-hmm. Seeing as I didn't have a game, let's talk about your game. Big win. Did we all know? Oh, so uh, Reading. Reading away. Yeah, big game. Big game. Big game. Three points. We need them. We do. We've got a new gaffer into it, don't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I never say that word. Who says gaffer? I've got a snotty nose. Go on, baby. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us something. I've got a riddle for you. So, Karen went, goes to bed half an hour early every single night. On Wednesday night, she went to bed at 9 pm. Thursday night, she went to bed at 8 30. Friday night, she went to bed at 8. Saturday, the clocks went back, so what time did she go to bed? I got the answer straight away. Did you? Yeah. You're so clever though, aren't you? So what's the answer? What's the answer? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I took none of that in. I couldn't process it. Uh-huh. It's too much talking. The only thing I hear is bed and you, and I just want to be with you in bed. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is win, win, win. Uh, yeah. So, big win. Big win. Um, kind of forgot what it felt like. Yeah, but after say. the game, I was in a sh- state of shock. A few of the girls were like, yes, come on. And you could see it was more like, thank bloody Christ. Relief. Of, yeah, relief. relief. Uh-huh. But I was a bit like in a state of shock. I was like... <laughs> um, so Everybody's I, I kinda, happy. Yeah. What's, what, what's going, going on? on? Have we not blown it? One, what? How do you feel after uh, yesterday's result? Yeah, I'm wet. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Now I do again. Absolutely fantastic. Monday morning never felt so good. Really? Yeah. Monday morning with three points. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. And uh, what did you take away from the game? That I am really f-ing good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think you should be captain? Um, well, what I would say is I think I probably should be playing for Arsenal now. Mm-hmm. I think it's time now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And do you think that you should be higher up the pitch? I think so. Yeah. I think I could create a lot more. Yeah. I think I could score goals in this Score game. goals? Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. What do you think? I think you could play in midfield. Yeah, I yeah. do. Just can't move. Mm-hmm. That's your That's your only issue. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I could move, then yeah. I'd be Perlo. Mm-hmm. We actually dominate, I think, the first half. Yeah. See how when you don't score? Yeah. Or, like, you're kind of like... You. And it did. They went 1-0 up. Right before half time, it must have been, I don't even know what minute, literally right before half time, I'm going, classic us, here we are again, same old story. Um, but if we just got in and obviously Remy restored calmness, keep doing what we're doing, fine, we all bought into it. Um, and then we get the equaliser. Nice. Um, Mitchie's, by Mitchie's the score. Screamer. A peach, the an absolute screamer. belter. Have you seen it? Yeah, Did you see of course it? I've what? seen I've it. I've not seen it online yet. I need to see it. I've seen it. It's all over oh, Twitter. Right, I'm okay. thinking, hang on a second. It was a beauty. Yeah. I can't kick a ball more than five yards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's 45 yeah. and has had a child. Yeah. And uh-huh. she's absolutely uh-huh. top bins. She, she, she actually couldn't be arsed running any further with the yeah, ball. So she so thought, I'm just going to smack I'll this and see what happens. So, <laughs> so um, but she's caught it sweet and it's moved. Yeah. Um, she has really, got that uh-huh. in the locker though. Yeah. She's got uh-huh. one of those, what is it? With the left is on Yeah. Left players. But absolute mouth after that. She's like went up. I'm like, mm, better that. Yeah. Honestly, um, the goalkeeper just stands in the goal and just is. I think thinks it's going wide, right? Yeah, and just yeah. turns around and goes, mm-hmm. yeah. Because it's honestly mm. such a strike. Yeah. So what no a way to win it. Yeah. Huh. And I think that's we've probably needed something like that and all yeah. because some a bit a moment of magic from someone. Bit so it's that Mitchie stepped up, delivered, and then we made a bit um, the hard work of it. Right. Be, at the end of the game, well, you know, we too, would. Yeah. It'd be too yeah. boring to yeah. just go on and see out what game. Four. Yeah. No. Let's live life on the edge like we do so a few squeaky squeaky bum times at the end but we got through it we got through it and you played 90 minutes uh, i played 90 minutes i was like sort of 
so you know wouldn't call it running in the yeah. end i was like moving. dragging myself about yeah. the pitch in the end yeah um, some of the best players in the world don't move rish they know where the game's mm-hmm. going and they just mm-hmm. that's stand. what i'm trying to get to yeah right yeah so um yeah happy to get three points now but i'm kind of like i feel like it's given us another like lift we're like okay th- there's six games to go now and we need to start climbing the table honestly we'll probably have champions league next season yeah I I don't doubt it. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I was waiting for my phone to ring. Mm-hmm. I thought Remy would call me and be like... And she's not? Come down to London. We we need a player like you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll speak to her. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm, drop I that mean, one in there. She's yeah. probably just going to leave it for a while. Mm. Um, I also think I'd be the last player that she ever called. Um, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, six games to go. We've got like seven 18? or eight. Yeah. Because yeah. we've got so many games in hand now. We're actually saying what happens... Uh-huh. On the last day of the season, all the games have to be played at yeah. the same time. Mm-hmm. What happens if that's not possible? They're, these are going to be playing midweek games, like three games a week for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, maybe. but then say we get to a point where like on the last game of the season, obviously I know the weather's better, but the last yeah. game of the season, a game is like unplayable because mm-hmm. of the pitch or something. What yeah. would they do? I don't really know. Just pick out of a hat? We could uh, message the FA and yeah, see if they ask. would get back to us yeah. on that. Or the PFA, we could reach out. Do we have a question? Who's uh, finishing first, second, yeah. third? We'll see um, on that, do you feel like you've obviously not played at the weekend there? Another weekend off. <laughs> nice you, wow. Pretty much. Wow. How many you got? No, oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> that's bad. Come <laughs> on, oh, I'm blowing. <laughs> Jade, flip. Fling her out! Run! Run. <laughs> Fling her out! I want to play on the wing! Is this what you need right now? Does it give you time to sort of get together after an international break, come together and sort of yeah. get your stuff together again? Because it was a wee bit rocky, maybe, shall we say, before that. So is this good for you or not? Um, Yeah, I think so. You've not really thought about it, no. have you? Yeah. Put me on the spot there. Uh, it's probably saying I should have thought about <laughs> Um, no, I think, to be fair, we've been doing, like, we had a really good week in training. Go! I know why it's amazing. Right, and straight. We've been doing some good, like, workshops. Like, it's not yeah. at all crisis point. Mm-hmm. I really don't think that. I think the league is, like, super competitive, and yeah. obviously there are some results that have really gone against us, which is our own doing. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, just more time to prep. I think you become a bit like antsy and then when you have a game, your energy levels and everything mm-hmm. are a bit. So maybe that'll be a good thing. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be okay. I think everybody's kind of buzzing to get back. So when we play, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I think everyone will be well up for it. That's okay. how I'm looking at it anyway. Yeah. And just also, you know how difficult it is sometimes when you have a big game at the weekend, players have been away on international yeah. and you've only got like one or two days of training to like go through... At least now, I guess there's a bit more time yeah. to like go through stuff. And... Yeah, I feel like you just can make it a good thing for you. Um, yeah, that's the plan. And it's probably a good thing for us too, because it's like more time. Pro- Coach Remy can put more stuff yeah. across, get his, you know, yeah, more time on the grass, yeah. all that. Yeah, because obviously she well, was yeah. thrown in uh-huh. late to the mix. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised she played you, really. I know, I, I was oh. actually thinking she's going to be like, Roosh, you're in the yeah. stands, I'm playing. St- uh-huh. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm going to be holding mid, and you know, I'll show you how it's yeah, done. Pretty and much. then you yeah. can do it yeah. the rest of the week. She probably well, would have that's done. probably going to be the week after. Then. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Could never. she do that? You never know. Anyways, hey. Anyway. Yeah. Did you do anything special in the game? Any no, absolutely nothing. Oh. Absolutely nothing. I felt like I didn't touch the ball. Right. Um, we played a different system, actually. Played with like a back three, back five, you know, three, five, two, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I felt like I didn't touch the ball. Yeah. Formation is ballsy though. Yeah, I think that, that, that was actually, um, that was probably in place already. Mm. Um, Smudge who'd been looking after this. Yeah. I think he kind of went to that. Um, but I mean, we won, so they might stick with it. We'll yeah. see what happens. I, mean, um, it's, I think so. It could yeah. be the start of something. It could be the start of something new. Feels so right. That was, that was good. Yes. Okay, well, now we're going to get a little bit nostalgic. Are you ready for a blast from the past, Rich? Yeah, what does nostalgic actually mean? I don't know. The producer told me to say it, yeah. and I've just... 
<laughs> it means like nostalgia is like going back though. Like, you know, when you see like an old TV show from when you were a kid or something, mm-hmm. and it's like quite nostalgic is how I would describe oh, it. Oh, yeah. I can't spell it. I don't know what okay. it means. I'm just, just it's written on the okay, script. Lovely. Okay, right. Anyway, going back to when we were kids, grassroots football, starting football. Do you remember how old were you? How old were you? Like, what happened to make you think, love this game? Love this game. Love this game. Um, apparently, growing up, my dad would be out the back with a dog, Paddy, German Shepherd, and he'd be kicking the ball down the back, and that's right. I'd join in. Right. So that's how it all started. Nice. Yep. And then I was, I think I was like seven, and my dad took me to my first team. And I think it must have been like under 13s. Um, so I was obviously <laughs> tiny. Uh, they were called St. Bridget's. Oh, that's St. So cute. St. Bridget's, yeah. yeah. Like, literally turned up and then the woman was kind of like, I played like a game, I think. Mm. I remember it really well. I came on and they must have put me on the wing. And I, I put a ball into the area and yeah. we scored and everyone ran up and celebrated with me and I was so confused. <laughs> because I was like, what's, what's happened here? Like... <laughs> Why are they all cheering at me? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't, uh, it's only yeah. now to this day I'm probably it's because I actually put an across and was going right. to so They were like, "Oh, that's this. called that's called an assist, assist. an assist." Yeah, that's what everyone's it. calling it these yeah. days. Yeah, an assist. Yeah. And so it, was, it was a bloody assist. People mm-hmm. are getting assists for nothing these days. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. taking corners. Honest. Yes, you said it. Um, <laughs> so that was that. Anyway, then I went to another team that was more local, and mm-hmm. I, again I was the young pup, but um, I just liked it. I liked playing football. It was weird because I was a mute. Didn't speak to MD and I'd just go in Why? with dad. I don't know. It was just weird. Didn't speak to MD. Yeah. I thought um, that might have been when you started to no, be that, a bit of a crackhead. That, that was probably about, I'm going to even say like as late as like 16 is when I really started coming out my shell. Right. Yeah. So what about you? Um, yeah. My family's like a football family. Like my mum and dad both love football. And my mum always says that dad was determined to like make me sporty right i think maybe he wanted boys uh-huh. but he got two girls uh-huh. and my sister's a bit of a funny uh-huh. so yeah yeah maybe uh-huh. this one yeah would be the sporty one and he'd just throw a tennis ball at me yeah catch. and it would just bounce off my head yeah yeah uh-huh. just continuously i think i was only about eight months old i don't know uh-huh. and then one day i just caught the tennis ball and yeah. it was like uh-huh. this is it she's gonna be sporty. Yeah. um yeah i just remember going to like a summer camp do you know like school camp when you play like football yeah and i think there was a guy there and he worked for like Southampton, but mm-hmm. this was before it was like a center of excellence. And mm-hmm. um, there were two teams there were like Southampton Saints and Southampton. Mm-hmm. And I think he was just like, I know the managers of the under 10s, like you need to take this girl yeah. along. And I obviously already loved football. Yeah, and, and you were 18 at the same? Yeah, <laughs> I was 25. I thought it was gonna be a pro contract, <laughs> but it wasn't. Um, though I was six, cause right. I remember really clearly. Isn't it weird what you remember? Yeah. We're training on the Astro, but do you remember when it's that sandy stuff? Yes. Like the old school like hockey. Like old hockey, yeah. yeah. Hockey, hockey, hockey oh, stuff. Man. And I was six and you couldn't play in the games till you were seven. Okay. So I was training with them for like a few weeks and I just remember being absolutely fuming. Everyone would be like, good luck at the weekend. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, I hope you lose. <laughs> and then when I was old enough, I was like, okay, now I hope we win. Yeah. And then, yeah, from there, it was just playing for a boys team, mm. two girls teams, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Monday. Couldn't, couldn't get me off it, really. Yeah. I, rem- I remember that, like the boys' football. Yeah. So that would been the school team and I would have been the only girl. Yeah. That would go and you'd obviously get your fair bit of yeah, from see, the no, other. I, I had a girls' football team. Did you? So was that just being really middle class again? It must be, yeah. Because yeah, I was like, well, like, I'm playing football in Glasgow around yeah. the rough ends of Glasgow on the, the gravel pitches. Yeah. Anyway, get, yeah. Uh, and yeah, the it boys was, would give you stick. It was, yeah, yeah. Get, get a lot of stick. They'd say a good bit to you, but then I'd always play. And I used to, don't know if you know, I used to play up front. Yeah, you've mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, I'd bang them in. So I'd just bang them in and that was that. And then the boys would be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had that to be fair. Um, the boys team that I played for were called Pace Panthers. We were quick. What a gimpy yeah. name, wasn't no, it? No, it was the coolest club was around. Yeah. yeah. And we had like a yellow kit with a blue... Gimpy Panthers, <clears throat> Are you done? Sorry. Right. We had like a yellow kit mm-hmm. with the blue shorts. It yep. was like the old school Brazil oh, okay. kit. But okay. it was like Pace Panthers. Yeah. We like, Panthers. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then we were re- we were quite good yeah. and the boys were really good. Yeah. And I just remember them being like really nice to me. Yeah. And the manager being really supportive and like, this is Lucy, she's going to play with us. Yeah. Um, you need to respect her. Yeah. And they were great. But then uh-huh. when you played against other teams yeah. and you start dribbling around, it's the parents. Yeah. The parents don't like uh-huh. that you've just like nutmegged their son. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would probably be confusing at first because you would have had shaved head with yeah. the patch there, like R9. I was quite. So. <laughs> um, I was quite confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
had the headband actually. <laughs> she's more like Mourinho. Yeah, yeah. Had the headband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny how um, parents on the sideline would have been yeah, like that at first. They were yeah. a bit funny. Worst bit was my dad was actually at the school team then. He he took it with another guy. Yeah. So at first, I think that was probably causing a bit of problems because people are like, well, she's only playing because his she's... dad's the coach. Uh-huh. I had this conversation with Charlie Dev and Jade mm. Moore. We were walking and I just said like, oh yeah, and do you remember when your dad was your coach? And they were like, no. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like it's a passage <laughs> that you have to go through yeah. in life to yeah. have your dad. And it would just be like... Lucy, get the cones. And mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, Dad. Well, there's 12 other girls that could yeah. have picked up the cones. But anyway, that was horrific. And when he used to come watch my games, you know when there was like, women's football wasn't really a yeah. thing and there was only like four people at the games. Yes. You could hear your dad mm. just shouting at you. Yeah. No dinner tonight. To be fair, my dad's lovely was never uh-huh. one of those, uh, you know, when you get in yeah. the car and it was like, that wasn't good enough. Yeah. Honestly, I could have had the worst game ever, scored six own goals and I still would have been the best player on that pitch. Really? But it was just hearing him yeah. tell me what to do all yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. And I remember being like, dad, go away. Mm-hmm. And he just went and had to walk around, like sit in the car. Yeah. And my mum was like, Michael, <laughs> leave her alone. I, they were the good old days though, because that was yeah. the game. I'd have spent a lot of time with my dad then. He literally yeah, was like, took me everywhere mm. he'd even pick up like others that couldn't maybe make it like yeah. if transport that so he was such a good egg done that no, that's and then we, religiously would have got a mcdonald's after the game right but then we the realized that was a problem yeah that route. yes yeah so obviously he's to blame for that right uh-huh then i actually got barred from mcdonald's for stealing all the hamburgers one day so that's the only reason i kind of got in shape but um yeah they, th- those were the days those were the days Do you know yeah. what were the days what football tournaments in the summer oh yeah saturdays yeah. you're like 12 mm-hmm. and you're just sat in your armchair all yeah. day you've eaten six hot dogs mm-hmm. they're like um southampton Saints. you got armchairs oh yeah i had armchairs with what the, the cup holder in like no you didn't yeah. you are so middle class yeah. honestly oh, the i was on the grass uh-huh. yeah and then they'd be like over the tannoy it would be like southampton saints to pitch a and you'd just go and <laughs> Beat someone 10 nil, come back, get a pick a mix. You just all day in the sun. Yeah. It was like a, a festival for kids. Yeah. Those those were the days. They were yeah. the days. They were the best times ever. Do you know what happened to us once? Um we this was under fifteens, no, under seventeens, and um, played for a team called Bailiston and we were like the there was two teams in Scotland at the time that were like it was Bailiston and Hibernian. Kim Little and that would have played for oh. hips. And like we would so have had all good. the thugs from Glasgow yeah. at Bailiston. Yeah. Um, and we were like the team to beat, we were winning everything. Yeah. Turned out with two overage players. <laughs> <laughs> was it you? No. Oh, how did they, was it how, me? Did, how was that found out? I don't know. One of the girls had an 18th birthday party. That was it at the time. I would have been younger. I was probably like, well, I was playing women's football since I was 16, so I was probably 15 or yeah. 16. Yeah. And then it was like an 18th invite got sent out and one of the other teams was like, well, she's, that, how's she having an 18th birthday party? And that's how it all came out. Oh. Yeah. Why is it always parties that catch you out? You've probably have gotten away with it. Yeah, you know. So it kind of took away last thing I've ever won. It's actually been taken away from me. <laughs> oh, well. Did they check all your passports after that? I don't even know what happened after that. Was that all? Like, no one really cared back then. Mm. Why did it matter? Well, it was a thing. We were shamed. Like, really? We were shamed, yeah. You couldn't return to we're known it. as the cheaters. Do you remember your first goal? Oh, good question. It's probably not my first goal, but I did win goal of the season with my boys team nice because it was a header and i feel like it was at that age where like yeah. kids weren't that good at heading yeah and you've literally not yeah. gave hit since. I... I mean the head did the ball since <laughs> it might be true it's my right here yeah. there yeah i remember a corner coming yeah. in and obviously they've given it goal of the season mm-hmm. like lucy quinn's got up like a salmon in front of all the boys and headed it yeah i don't think i was ready for the corner to come in yeah i think it's just hit me straight on the <laughs> noggin <laughs> <laughs> I got top bins and then I've just gone, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had a little trophy, right, um, for a goal of the season. And I think all the other boys were a bit fuming um, for a header because I don't think I think we were really quite young, right. And I think to score a header like mm-hmm. that was like good and like brave. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Well, saying that, actually, I remember last season maybe <laughs> Rach Daly you scored your first not header. me god no <laughs> head the ball you mad yeah I've uh-huh. all this boat toss oh. I hate that when the ball's coming to me and I'm yeah. like oh You're Christ like, oh, uh, I do the kind of duck, jump and duck yeah. kind of oh no just, oh, oh F she pushed <laughs> me yeah yeah I do that so one I do that all the time yeah I mean no I don't um, and not Remy I don't do that yeah, I just tack the ball venom <laughs> um, but Rach Daly scored a header against Man United right and it's a beauty just how she gets up. Yeah, no, she's good in the air. Boom. Do you know who's the best? Big Will. Big Willie. 
big Will. Big Rach Williams. Right. Her nickname yeah. is actually <laughs> Big Willie. <laughs> Wasn't trying to be inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, Big Will. Um, Rach Williams. She... Mm-hmm. Did she score headers at the weekend? She's know. always scoring headers. Yeah. I can't even keep track. I've never seen a jump mm. and like a powerful header yeah. in it like it in the women's game. Right. Just unbelievable. Yeah. But Rach Daly also has that yeah. marker. What about first pair of boots? Um, I feel like... Did they when have it football first... boots when you were a kid or was it just like pig skin? It was like, you know how the big black things with the laces? Yeah, like you, yeah and it's like the big club toe. Use <laughs> them first. Um, no, I think my first pair from memory might have been... They were Adidas, but they weren't like was F50s or anything right? like that. It wasn't. It was before that time. It was like... So what were they pure, getting? Probably pure cheap shite yeah. that my dad's went, that's what you're yeah. getting. But they were navy. Um, with like white and a little wee bit of red on the stripe. Probably fake. Yeah, um, probably, yeah. Uh-huh. They weren't then, Adidas, uh, they were. My dad then after that, he only let me get black boots. He Why? wouldn't... He's like show off blah blah mm. wasn't allowed to wear gloves yeah yeah do you know literally... what i think my dad would have been mm. like that to be fair but he wasn't i always had like really colorful boots but yeah. he's like obviously from that generation where i thought he might be like nah get your black classic boots or whatever mm-hmm. i was allowed to wear gloves that's right. child yeah. abuse but anyway do you know what i wasn't allowed mm-hmm. to do which everyone else on my team had do you know when you had, you get like 50p if you scored a goal? Right. Or like three pounds yeah. if you scored a hat trick. Mm-hmm. My dad was always like, no, we're not doing that. It will make you selfish. Oh. But actually, I just think it's because I was banging in 10 goals a game. Yeah. And he, he probably couldn't good. afford it. Yeah. Yeah. But he was saying that it was mainly uh-huh. like yeah. character building to keep me humble. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I always had really bright colored boots. But my first pair were Puma Kings. Do you remember like the black Puma Kings? I also the them. loved them once. Oh my yeah. God. Amazing. Yeah. They were comfy. Uh-huh. Do you know when you're not even a size one yet and you're like a size 13? Mm-hmm. Like Diddy. Yeah. I think, I think I've still got them somewhere. Cool. They were cute. Maybe we should get them out. So when was it that you first realised that you could be a professional footballer? What, like, what was your first pro club, actually? Great question. <laughs> uh, you don't even know. I think I went to Norway. No, because when I was in... Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Because even when the WSL started, like... It wasn't professional. No. Do you know what I mean? So it was like, when do no. we want to say it was professional? No, when yeah, when you were you were training full time and getting like a wage that would have yeah. been like you you could have uh-huh. got by. I mean, that would only been. Was that, that went not... to uh, maybe twenty four? Yeah, is yeah. that why you went to Norway? Because it was like that kind of setup. Yeah, maybe maybe yeah. There was a few reasons. Yeah. Don't really know. Um, so you were twenty four. Yeah, yeah, probably twenty four. That's mad. Isn't then it? saying that would have came back when I played in Scotland. Though it was like. We would have been training more than we train now, honestly. It was wild and you were working full time. Yeah. And that was just the way it was because it was like, well, if you want to compete and you want to get Champions League, this is the way it's got to be. And I look back now and I go, yeah. the stuff we actually done and like... In the evenings at like 10 o'clock. You'd be getting home at like... Yeah. Yeah. So no, it, Honestly, when I was, mm-hmm. a, I was in uni mm-hmm. and then I was playing for Yeovil and this wasn't full time, but it was training twice a week. It was mm-hmm. a three hour drive that I drove three times wow. a week to train. Wow. Yeah. I literally left uni at four, left mm-hmm. my lectures, drove to Yeovil. I don't know why, but anyway, drove mm-hmm. to Yeovil, trained eight till 10, drove back, got back at one o'clock in the morning, ate baked beans on toast. I'll mm-hmm. never forget baked beans in the microwave. Mm-hmm. Go to lectures the next day. I was a zombie. I was an absolute yeah. zombie. Wow. I was miserable. That's dedication though. You've done, you done what it took. Yeah, I did. And now you can see that you are a and professional then, football yeah, player. I, we won the league. Played in the spring series. Nice. Got picked up by Birmingham. Thank You're God for that. Back at Birmingham. Love yeah. that. It's a beautiful story. It is. It was the thing is, though, meant to be. we actually really did probably work hard for it. And there was probably a time, it's weird because, like, growing up at school and all that, and it's like, well, what do you want to be? And I'd be like, yeah. you need to study this. I'm like, no, yeah. don't. Because it just didn't, it wasn't my thing. Studying's not my thing. We all know oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Would yeah. never have You know. Yeah. But I always knew I'd play football. Yeah. It was like, well, you need to use your backup. But I always yeah. knew I'd play football. And somehow I think speaking crap on podcasts is going to be my backup yeah. now. Um, but I always wanted it to be that. And I'm like, we've had we've had like the rough journey. Yeah, we were at this like kind of start of change. And players coming into are... the game now yeah. have no idea. Like oh. our stories would be stories. Yeah, but even people similar age or a bit older than us, their stories would have been wild. Yeah, like people have no idea. This girl that's just come on and scored for Gotham at 13. Yep. What in the? I do you know what I remember when I was 16? I had a PE teacher tell me that football wasn't going to happen for me. And I rem- I just remember thinking like, how dare yeah. you? Yeah. 
But then it wasn't really a thing. I get why she yeah, was saying yeah. it, mm-hmm. but it was like in a group yeah. with also boys that I think wanted to be footballers and were probably only going to play mm-hmm. like lower level. Like the couple of good boys that we had in our school had already been picked up by like Southampton and Portsmouth and were maybe going to play championship prem level, who knows. And I just remember her having a talk with me and some other boys and just being like, football is not going to happen for you guys. Like you have to get your GCSEs. And I'm like, football now, all over the TV, mm. Emirates, Lionesses, whatever, yeah. blown up in this country. Can you imagine a 16-year-old girl now being told by a PE teacher? Like it wouldn't happen. Yeah. So it's a great day. Yeah. But just like, yeah, those times that we went through and you're just like, imagine, imagine a teacher telling you like not to follow your dream. Criminal. Yeah. I mean, I've probably had it too. I mean, there was a PE teacher that kind of said that and there was mm. another boy that played football in the school and he hadn't been doing his homework or something. And his excuse was, well, I have training. Right. And he was like, going to be come professional. Yeah. Training, like semi-pro, whatever it was. And him kind of having that. But I'm, I get they had, they probably think they did a care to be like, you have to have yeah. another backup. To try and make you realise it's yeah. important uh-huh. education. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I think like, we could have, it would have been like going to America or something like that. Yeah. Um, but imagine that had stopped me. Imagine I just yeah, gone, oh uh-huh. my gosh, you're right. I mean, I think I've got mates that then in the end kind of yeah. went down the more like the studying route. Yeah, professional. Because they're like, well, yeah. I can get get a job doing that. Mm. Um, yeah, it's true. I think I was 24. I think that's when the WSL started to be like on TV. And like, even in my head, when I thought, oh, that's full-time football, I don't think I thought, oh, you'd be in in the day yeah. and you'd train and you'd get fed and you'd do gym. I just thought it'd be like, oh, it's more more training. Yeah. And then when I was in it, I was like, whoa, this is this is cool. But I think I was also like 24. Mm-hmm. So I think I'd already picked up a lot of bad habits. Yeah, I would have been a better player if I was. I think That's though, my excuse anyway. We are lucky because we've we've kind of, we had to work for it. We did. But we've also got to be on a journey and we've also got to do a bit of stuff too. So even people like my age are like, oh, I missed out on so much because of football. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You actually got to go on holiday and you yeah. got to go. I get, get we missed some things. Like, yeah, but in the future uh, now is going to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, like the fixtures and the camps yeah. away. And, yes. Yeah. Wouldn't Sorry. change it though. Wouldn't really change your story. Um, Did I want to end up stuck working with you? Not really. Mm-hmm. But no, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm fairly happy with the journey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, to celebrate International Women's Day, we have put together our all-time 11 female team. Have we? Yes. We are about to do it right oh, now. Right, okay. Uh-huh. So, women's goalkeeper. <sighs> uh, right now, it's a tough one. I'm like, who actually is the best? I think there's some come through. Obviously, it's like Mary Earps right now. She's she's the, the goat of keepers right now, safe to say. She probably is, yeah. Uh-huh. So, I think Anne Katrin-Bergard is a mush out. She is... A machine. Obviously, I played with her at Blues as well. So I've seen her in training. Okay. So when I was deciding, I'd first got myself an agent and there were a couple of clubs interested in me, like back in the day, like Reading, Blues, mm-hmm. people like that. Um, and I was trying to decide like where to sign because I knew nothing really about these clubs. I went to Birmingham to s- watch training for the day. They were kind of like, come up, we'll watch you train. Blah, blah. You know, small-sided games that mm-hmm. you do. Anne Katrenberger played out on pitch or maybe she was in goal but she was playing as like a sweeper yeah, yeah. she scored an overhead kick she scored a volley yeah she was like saving things throwing it out she like with her feet her distribution like her yeah reaction saves i'm gonna put her i'm gonna put her up there okay okay i am gonna yeah one like, other player that can do that one for the future because she's young but hannah. she's starting at chelsea right now hannah hannah, hannah, hannah can like after train you put balls in and yeah. she's doing overhead kicks and yeah. goal uh-huh. But then I remember we played Chelsea once and I was watching Anne Katrenberger just like in the warm up kicking yeah. balls out. And Honestly. I was like, Pwah. I was like, yes. Bear in mind, had- um, like had a, like a battle with cancer. Yeah. Came back Incredible. way quicker yeah. than like the doctors were ever going to say, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, Anne, come back into training and yeah. just take it easy. Mm-hmm. Volleys, biceps. Right. Saves. So Anne Katrenberger, Mary Earps. <laughs> Mary Earps has changed the face of goalkeeping, yeah. Yeah. kids buying the shirts. She's won a lot right now too. She's they won like, a playing yeah. goal. Yeah. Which... Do we have to give it to her? No. Right, we'll, we'll put Mary in. It's going to have to be, yeah. I think. Right, left back. <laughs> um, Why does your mind go blank as soon as you do? I'm going to go with um, the French one, Carucci. Yeah, yeah Carucci. what is it? Carucci. Is it? I don't know. Kenza! <laughs> 
I've done this before. Oh, she's going to get me in trouble because I'm supposed to remember. I, I know her as Saki. I call her Saki. Right. She doesn't know who I am. No, of course and she doesn't. she's probably going to be offended if she ever hears me speaking about her. But yeah, uh, my gal, Saki. You've also got Basha, who plays for France. She yeah. can play left back or left sort of forward wing. Front. Right. Or, or do you want to just stick with Masha? Like you can I'm trust sure. me on this. Sure. Uh-huh. If you want. Right, centre backs. Best ever. Yep. I'm putting um, Mappy Leon in there. So oh, I've, I've she took is. her left centre back if you her want. Her distribution. Yeah. She plays ball. Yeah, she is mm-hmm. the quarterback yeah. of yeah. women's football. She scores as well, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's got te- free kick on techie, her yeah. techie goals. Yeah. Yeah, she's good. And she's got cool tattoos. So she looks like scary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we going to go with someone like Leah or. Oh, gosh, yeah. 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 Millie. Do we go for then? Do we've got. Although I'm a ball playing team. I'm a ball playing yeah. team. Do you know what I mean? So do, do we just put Leah in there then? I mean, I think she also just, does the dirty stuff. Yeah. It's not just that side of the game that she can do. But yeah. You've also got people like Millie Bright. That, who's like an out and out defender. Yeah. She's like. Yeah. Or Wendy Renard's mm-hmm. like experience. Yeah. Like what she's won and mm-hmm. like her. Mind you, she takes penalties and stuff. Yeah. She was taking penalties. Uh, I'm going to go with Leah. Yeah. I actually I, put Leah Williamson in the there. The way she plays yeah. out as a centre back, mm-hmm. I think we go with Leah. We're doing it. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay, right back. Oh, Nabaji. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Uh huh. She's, she's a joke. If you got anyone that you'd like to, the whole Rach Daly thing. She has to be a nine. <sighs> okay. Uh huh. But the way she goes forward, mm-hmm. I quite like. But what I prefer. Oh no, I'm not gonna lie. Ona Baje. I think I'm going with Ona Baje for my right back. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's the back four. Okay. Hold the mid. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Kira Walsh as a sitter, just the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we've got Bon Mati in there. Anita, yeah. Anita's in there. Who uh, else? And then I'd say I'd be tempted to put Kim Little in there. Great show, great show. Just like she's still to this day, I watch her and I'm like, how are you still doing this? I think she doesn't get the recognition she deserves. No. So probably doing this on the podcast would mean the world to her. Uh, she obviously... probably doesn't even know we have the podcast, no, but no. we we Some rate you. Yeah. yeah, no, because she's always done uh-huh. it. She's always done it, uh-huh. and the women's game has progressed, and she's still uh-huh. making people look silly. But you know, I'm happily I'll put Kim in there because she's been there, done it. Yeah, I suppose she's pretty good midfield actually. Okay, forwards, forward line. Obviously, you don't have to say me. Let's not put me in there just for the sake really? of the podcast. Because obviously, I yeah. would be in there. Yeah. Why wasn't I in midfield? Um. You were putting me up front. Centre forward. Mm. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, drinking. Yeah. I mean, where do we start? Frank Kirby, Lauren James, Sam Kerr, Pop, Ellen White, Daily. Daily. <laughs> Daily. There was someone else I was thinking of. Viv, Miedema. Viv. <sighs> Beth Mead. <sighs> I don't think we should play with defenders, to be honest. No, but like, we're dominating the ball. Just the other team we're playing against don't touch the ball. The thing is, we <laughs> might concede 10, but yes, it doesn't matter because we've scored 11. 13. Oh, oh. Yeah, we've we'll got a few more, sorry. Uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, oh, um, Go. Who, what are we doing? Nah. Uh, right, centre forward, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Midema. I think she has to be Centre forward, I'm doing it. She's a very, and, like... She, I wouldn't say she's, like, an out-and-out out nine. Like, she's floaty, she'll come in deep. Mm-hmm. But I think she's been allowed to do it. And we know she can play in the 10 too. But yeah. I'm like, even like that Arsenal team, nobody finishes the way yeah. Viv Medema would finish. Yeah. So she's a goal scorer. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the manager. I, I'm I, the assistant. You're the assistant. Right. You're the assistant. Okay. And I'm saying to her, no, you're working your arse off and you're hanging about the box. You're scoring goals for us. But does she do that though? Like I know she scores loads of goals, yeah. but her goals are always weird and wonderful. Do we but also need finishes? someone else in there who's like an out and out? Rach Daly, by the way, her finishing yeah, is so good too, by the way. In. Uh-huh. Also, having played with Ellen White, you know, mm-hmm. when you see a player in training, yeah. you're like, the practice, mm. the graft, the repetition, yeah. the instinct, yeah. the movement. This is too, you're the manager. I was giving you one pick, remember? Oh, Did you pick one? I'm going to say Beth Mead. Ooh, okay. Because she does it at club. Mm-hmm. She does it international level. Yep. 
She works hard. She brings people into play. Yeah. And I'm thinking back in the days when she was at Sunderland and she yeah. was still doing it. Mm -hmm. And if I actually, she's probably another one that our finishing doesn't get enough praise. When you see Beth Mead in the box, she's yeah. almost so calm. It's almost like yeah. a, a wee fake. Yeah. The and fakes. And she just bends it in. I was literally yeah. about to say, the yeah. fakes, the reading of when the, yeah. when the defender's going to dive in, mm -hmm. she'll chop you. Yeah. Her first touch is always going forward. Yeah. It's never like stopped. She mm -hmm. always knows where she's going, going forward to get a shot off. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need a lefty in there. What about a left forward? I've got one that comes to mind. Don't need to be lefty, but I was just I mean, trying to balance the team out a bit here. But has she done enough yet? But I just think her natural I ability. Oh, true, true. Has she done enough? No. Not yet, but will she be up there and be a freak of oh, the game yeah. for years to come? Yeah. When we do yeah. this, when we've run out of content uh -huh. and Jack makes us do this again in mm -hmm. 10 years' time, She'll be on She'll that. be on that. Yeah, because right, we'll okay. still be sat in the studio, yeah. probably. No other gigs. Welcome back to 19 Life's Pitch. No one watches. YouTube doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we put it in there. Who else is that? We've gone to home nations. That's the problem with doing this stuff. Yeah. Is because that's what you're focused all the time. on. Yeah, that's what you're focused what on. What about the Spanish? What about the German? The French? I did see Lena McGill for age. Ada Hegerberg. Champions League best ever scorer. Yeah. Just completely ignored her. Sam Kerr does a backflip. Well, she should does be a nutmeg playing in front time. of us every week. I don't, you know, it's not my problem that she wants to play overseas. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, if they want to get recognition on this podcast. She's on the move, I've heard too. Hegerberg. He 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 Say her name. Go on. Ada Hegerberg. Say it with your chest. <laughs> Ada Hegerberg. Hegelberg. Ada Hegerberg. Where's she going? Don't know, but I've seen that she's maybe not signed, or she's our time's run up on a contract. I think she's on the move. Do you know she what? She did I say heard? a thing about the league, the fr the, fr the French yeah, league is yeah, not the best. Yeah, it's not. No, I thought good point. Spanish players were saying that as well. Yes, they were saying that they're not My happy yeah. with mm -hmm. the way it's gone since winning the World uh -huh. Cup in comparison uh -huh. to when England won the Euros. Yeah, which is sad because um, my gal said that. Yeah, she was jealous. Of, of the lionesses yeah. because what they've done and the change and the change hasn't happened they've got way. a tube line I said honey you know where to come I'm yeah. there I'm over here so come find me yes um, London City are looking for another I heard that. Ada Hegerberg yes is going to London City get out of town yeah. really yeah Remy sent her a message on Snapchat mm -hmm. and said we've got new owners uh -huh. I heard it was Lissa Mayer. oh yeah because she's got she's the connection because she uh, yeah. On. yeah she's also a bowler yeah and Rodman she's coming next year so I'm not getting a look. You aren't getting a look. <laughs> I'll be bent. But what about the Americans? Let's go with like a Rodman as I can't. She's going to be, because she is yeah. young, so she's frightening yeah, fast. She's, she's uh, what's with Bent Lauren James? What's happening? She's, her time's going to come. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're probably similar ages, similar bits, oh. but. And I forgot the team. I forgot what we said, but that is our LJ. women's. No, come on. Think of a team name. Like if we had a club, what Ooh. would it be? It should be something with, like, females in it. Does it? Well, it's, our, all, it's for International Women's Day. Oh. Women's Wanderers. No. Mm -hmm. The breast team around. Oh, I like that. I like that. Right, so that's the end of another Life's a Pitch. Um, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, don't forget to check out the 90 Men Talks next week. Um, Rish? I just want to say to everyone again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Um, I feel like we're really enjoying this podcast and it's, it's only going one way. Cancelled. In the bin. In the bin. In the bin. Yeah, so please continue to watch, like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks very much. We'll see you soon.